What's up you guys? In this video we're going to be unboxing the Inspire rubber dumbbells. I picked these up at Costco in store. However, if you bought these online you scored big time. For $300 the price was not marked up online and they delivered these to your door. So sucks for the driver but you got a pretty good deal there. Again, there weren't many left so I picked these up at a Costco that was a little farther away. Didn't plan on buying them since most stores were sold out but it's too good of a deal to pass up. So to start off, these boxes are gonna be very heavy. It comes in a set of three. You can see a mark there, one, two, and three. So if you are buying these, if they still have them, you need to make sure that you get all three. Um, so again, it says 210 pounds, but the cool thing with this purchase is that it does include a stand. So I'm gonna guess the stand weighs at least 20 pounds, 20, 30 pounds. And you can see they're mostly using these screws here or nuts that are around 14 millimeters. I'm gonna open it up. I'll put this together as well, so I will show you that. But just be advised, these are very heavy. So if you are going to be taking them home and you can't lift these, make sure you have someone that can help. And let's look at the packaging closely. It is five through 30 pounds, so I think these are perfect for the average person. Again, don't be a person that ego lifts. You can do so much with these weights. Um, in the comments, if you guys see this, this is more than enough for almost anyone. Personally, I think these are fantastic if you're working shoulders, squats, lunges, biceps, triceps. There, there's so much you can do with dumbbells. And just for reference, when the pandemic started, I got these adjustable dumbbells here when everything was in such a shortage i paid over 400 dollars for these now you can get them for a little less but again they're still in uh, they're still in high high demand for these so um, i think these are going to be better they're more compact and you can adjust much quicker so these they do go up to 52 pounds so i still will be using them for the bench presses but there's so much i can do with these so quickly on this side we see that there is an app that you can download I'm not really a fan of apps, but for those of you that like to have a community or support or more knowledge, you do have this option. So that is pretty neat. On this side, we can see some of the marketing, which is going to be that they are rubber. So um, like in this house, we have tile, so that should be a little more friendly. Obviously, you do not want to drop them, but that will help a little bit. Uh, I will show the ergonomic handles that they're stating there. The rack, that's a, that's a huge thing because the rack's going to take up minimal square footage. And then uh, I'm guessing the anti-scratch rack design there probably means the bottom of the rack has rubber on the base. So let me cut these open for you. I'm going to use a box cutter here. It's probably the easiest thing. And then I will show you the inside of the box and I will proceed to assembly. Okay, so once you cut these plastic straps, the box is going to have tape. You cut around the whole edge for all of them and the lid kind of just flips open. When we look inside, they're going to be wrapped in plastic. They are all wrapped in plastic and you're going to see that there is a user manual assembly and probably some sort of function to download the app. Again, um, I personally don't like apps, but that's just a personal preference. Then we can see that the rack is there. Um, excuse me if I'm a little out of breath. These things are pretty heavy to move. So next, I'm going to take these out of the plastic. I'm going to place them on the floor, and then I'm going to start working on the rack. So I just got everything out of the boxes. Pretty much the box is just going to be plastic, a dumbbell, and each box has a moisture-absorbing little packet here. Uh, I did end up doing the math on this. This box is... Um, 82.02 pounds there are two 30 pound dumbbells in this so that means your rack is going to be 22 pounds and I'll show the manual in a bit and these are what the dumbbells look like each dumbbell has the weight and then it says inspire and then if you rotate it 180 degrees it has the weight and again, inspire. So, so if it rolls, you'll see the weight on either side, which is pretty neat. I like that detail. 
the next thing you guys will notice is it smells like a tire center in here now so expect to have some odor these are all rubber um, I do really appreciate though that if you can see there these things are padded pretty well with rubber obviously try not to drop them but they do have some give I'm pushing my nail into it and they are coated pretty generously so that is nice to know um, again the if you guys have the odor as an issue and you don't like that rubber smell you can always air this out let me show you the manual now I'll be brief on this I don't want to bore you guys here's the app you can stream videos follow training and track your progress there's your model number for reference Again, they're promoting the app pretty heavily here and then we can see the items that are shown here so it's saying the only item needed is a 17 millimeter wrench you go ahead and grab that I'm working on my car right now so I can assemble this pretty quickly and it looks like we are going to use a total of 12 bolts for this assembly so it should be pretty straightforward I don't expect this to take any longer than 10 minutes but I will get to this I just want to show you guys this so uh, it's a bit more of a detailed review still quick but detailed and again we have it here in French how to take care of your equipment And we have it in Spanish. I, I think this is Japanese. Don't, uh, don't quote me on that, but that looks like Japanese. Damn, I do not know, honestly. Apologies. And then a blank page. Okay, let's get to the unboxing of the rack. For this rack, we're just going to cut it open with a box cutter. So it looks like we have, give me a second here, I'll give you guys a better view. It looks like we have five pieces. This rack's going to be like a, a letter A. So you have your two base pieces and then each side holding the weight. And this is probably a support arm. So like a letter A. <clears throat> and they are generous, generous enough to give you a wrench here. However, I'm going to use a uh, ratchet and a socket just to get a little more torque on it. But everything is here I'm going to proceed to assemble it and for the sake of saving you guys time I'm going to skip that process and show you the results and give you an update on how it went upon taking everything out I actually noticed there are a total of six pieces so you have the two arms for the weights the two legs for the base the top that is going to sit on top of these arms and the bottom so it's more of a triangle it's more of a triangle than the letter A. We can see the top piece there and then the bottom piece and that will show the logo. Next, I just noticed that the instructions, they're pretty they are pretty bad. Um, this is the only image for assembly, which is, again, very intimidating for a lot of people that do not have experience assembling. So essentially, there are going to be a total of four um, assembly parts, which are these longer bolts and these shorter bolts. You're gonna have 24 of these washers 
and these are called nuts. These are lock nuts you can see inside there. There are 12, 24, 4, and 8. And each one of these bolts is going to have a washer on it. So you can see here, you might be confused because they're not showing the image next to this, but these are all parts, so you can cover that. And then we have four of the long bolts, eight of the short bolts, and then the 24 washers, which are these, and then the 12 nuts, which are those. So for assembly purposes, they don't even tell you the steps. I would recommend starting with the bottom base since it'll be stable and easier to put together. You're gonna notice you put that's the long one with a washer and then on the other side once you run it through on the other side you put another washer and then you use that lock nut so let me show a close-up here again it's gonna be a washer and a lock nut it's actually showing two washers well wow, okay yeah so they need they need better um, Inspire, if you guys are seeing this, you need better instructions because this is pretty small to the naked eye and you're doing a little, excuse my nail, but um, it, you need to show this in detail because that's showing two of those washers there and you're running them on the outside and on the outside, outside, outside. And then obviously you set the base on first before you do that. So again, Inspire, you could do better. Another page of instructions won't hurt you and it'll help a lot of people. Another thing I did not point out, they are using uh, two of these little wrenches. So you're gonna need two to torque it when you put it through the other side. So I'm gonna start assembling the base and then I will keep you guys updated. So it's pretty straightforward. I just wanna show you guys again, I don't know how much experience the average viewer has, but you run the long bolt and then the long bolt has this washer. And then on this other side, you're gonna have a washer and then you're gonna have this lock nut. And then just to confirm, the lock nut looks like this. You're gonna have this side facing outward. Next, you could tie it with these two wrenches. I'm going to use my socket and then use one of these wrenches to hold the other side. So just tighten this base. So another thing to point out, again, this is why I appreciate detailed instructions. If you do not torque these the same, so leave them kind of loose and torque them a little bit, you notice it's, it's wobbling because they were torqued incorrectly, so it's not level. I loosened each of these bolts, and you can see it's, it's level now. Also, these wrenches included are a little thin, so I'm going to use my wrench. This is a 17 millimeter. Most of your toolkits might not have a 17 millimeter, so just be advised, but this is helpful because it is thicker. So when you're first assembling it, it's gonna be loose and it's gonna be slipping, so these are a little thin. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this a little loose and then start placing these two on and screwing them down here. And then with the weight, once I have everything kind of together, then I will torque the bottom. So try not to torque any of these screws all the way, or these bolts all the way until you have everything kind of assembled. The next part is assembling this top. What I'm going to do is place this top piece on and then add this onto the base so this top piece will keep it stable. Another error I noticed is that here you see that this nut is on the outside, not on the inside, which is what I would expect. So this manual has an error and this is why I like detailed instructions. So that nut's shown on the outside, but that would not make sense. So again, when you guys, I already just put these two on, but when you're putting these shorter nuts on, it's gonna take two washers. It's gonna take two washers per nut, per, per bolt here. So you put the bolt, two washers, and then on the underside, you're gonna have your nut. And just to confirm, you guys can see here on the stock picture, you see that there is a nut on the inside. So that is an error on Inspire. Uh, again, the price is great, but sometimes you get these issues. So that's why I'm making this video. So I'm going to put these two, uh, these two bolts on this head here, and then you should have four bolts left over. And those four bolts will go on this base to hold this together. And again, don't 
torque these too much, leave them kind of loose. You can hand tighten them for now. And then once you have everything together, then you can tighten. Okay, so it's finally assembled. This took a lot longer than I planned. But um, yeah, again, the instructions are very unclear and you're gonna have to leave all of these bolts kind of semi untorqued and then you're gonna have to go torquing them as you go through the process, which is very time consuming. I noticed here, um, I torqued these down towards the end on the base, the long bolts, and they were still unsteady. So I'm, I'm very particular in having something be done the right way. So I had to loosen them and tighten them and loosen them and now it's, it's stable. So it's not rocking, which is what I want. And another thing I noticed on the design of this, this does not sit flush and I, I can't really see the, the picture in the stock in the stock photo because it's being blocked by the dumbbell, but you can kind of see it's raised off the edge there. So that's a very peculiar uh, design. Whoever engineered this, it should sit flat so that the weight is distributed instead of all the weight being focused here. But again, um, I think for the value, this is great. The instructions are not too great, but you know, this should not take 40 minutes to assemble. Uh, <laughs> let me show you guys the dumbbells on the rack. All right, all of the weights are on. This is probably about maybe like three and a half feet high. Again, it probably shows in the box, but it's about three feet high, three and a half feet high. Uh, looks stable, but again, I'm just not too content with the assembly uh, and the process and the details. So Inspire, if you guys are watching this, you could do better, come on. And as for the access, like let's say if you're gonna grab one of these, so I'm gonna go for the 20 here. Now you have a decent amount of hand space and uh, to put it back, to put it back, uh, I don't know, for those of you that have bigger hands, um, I don't know, I said mine are a bit above average, but for those of you that have bigger hands, you might wanna be uh, cautious pinching your hands here. So this could be a little wider, this track, but then that means the dumbbell would need to be wider as well. <clears throat> and for those of you that, know, that don't know how to use a dumbbell, <laughs> you pretty much just grab it and you lift it up or you do whatever you want with it. The sky's the limit. I'm also trolling you guys a little bit. But in all seriousness, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was a little, little annoying and finicky, longer than I thought I would want to make this video, but I wanna show these details for those of you that are considering it or something similar to this. Hope you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, have a great day.